stay, I mean, because there's a lot of beef going on right now. I mean, hip hop has almost become synonymous with beef. Uh, academics and Meek Mill went back and forth. <laughs> Did you see that exchange? I think Meek Mill put it out there that, you know, he wanted to start a podcast who got a check from him or something like that. Academics replied, I got a million dollars. Meek kind of felt like he's offended. Like, yo, bro, I got more paper than you. Like, what are you talking about? Well, hey, you put it out there. Meek put that out there. You know, sometimes we have to learn, like, I think I think we get caught up again. Public opinion. Meek probably felt offended that you even said something like, like, quit playing with me. I'm like, you trolling. But what if what if academics was for real? That's his lane. That's the only reason we know him. I never heard him DJ. Does he DJ for real? Truth be told, I never. Matter of fact, I don't even see turntables. That's what that I'm trying to like, tell you, bro. He don't even have that in, in the background. Recognition and acknowledgement. We only recognize academics for being a podcaster, right? Yeah. That's it. I, he DJ academic. I've never seen a nigga DJ. I've never seen him in front of a turntable. i never seen a nigga rock a club or party. That don't mean he don't do that. So I'm going to acknowledge him as a podcaster, a uh, uh, influencer, a YouTuber, a vlogger, a streamer, whatever. But check this out. When you put that type of shit out there, you really can't get mad at how somebody responds to you. Because what if academics really can't get Mika Mill? I find me I'm seeing Meek do a lot of talking these days because you almost got to. You almost got to. You got to talk. You got people got to know where your head at for you to stay relevant out here. Let's be for real. If you ain't dropping superstar smash, smash, smash records and doing smash movies or whatever, superstar hooper, smashing the baddest chick, whatever, like you gotta, you gotta, you you gotta be a part of it. And I think that. I think Meek be having some good points sometimes, and I think Meek just be being Meek sometimes. So, you know, that's no diss or no offense, you know, but don't get mad at the man for saying he got a million. Bring me a million, you academics. I don't be fucking with some of the shit academics be doing. Some of the shit I've been like, oh, okay, he was on point, but most of the time be like, man, bro, just be going left with this shit. He stay in that little guy down the spot where he at. He protected, he talk shit, so... I think Meek should go on and do a podcast though, shit, for real. Nah, I think he should. I mean, you know, he he do he do a lot of talking, as you said. Um, people would listen to this man. Whether you agree with him, disagree with him, he's one of them dudes that when he talk, people pay attention. So you know, but <laughs> Yeah, you go with the shit. Nah, yo, because I can't, I can't, I can't get past this. Like we talk about Meek Mill and talking. Meek Mill want everybody else to stop talking. Like Meek want people to stop asking him if he's straight. Like this man is going on a public campaign to say, "I'm straight." I understand I was named in that Diddy lawsuit, but please don't think for a minute. Because again, man, I just told you, recognition and acknowledgement. Oh, I recognize that people are saying Meek is doing something and people are acknowledging that. And it's just it's just so crazy. Like, all it takes is a rumor, dog, and that shit is running. They running with that shit. All it takes is a rumor, bro. All it takes is a rumor, one rumor. One, a mother could just not fuck with you and put that shit out there. Let her put it out there with a skit. Or do it the right way, or make a meme. That shit gonna stick, boy, and that shit gonna ride until you, until you do something that overshadows it by ten times. Yo, but I mean, you've been in the public eye for the better yeah. for over twenty years now. Yeah. So somebody like Meek Mill, why does he even respond? Like real, real talk. Like why even get breathe life into this thing? You know who you are. Yeah. But a lot of times, man, let's be for real. If you're being paid, okay, let's say if you're making a living off of your integrity, you're making a living off of your credibility. It's not like Meek has his super huge corporate job and he just goes and sits in his corner office and he doesn't clock in because he has this crazy ass salary and he gets to go in and just do his job and go home at the end of the night to his family. It don't work like that. This man got to touch, like somebody book him, 
That means people want to scout or want to see him. And when you start f- tarnishing someone's image, likeness, you know what I'm saying? Their integrity. When you start playing with that, you start playing with they bad. So if this is how this man eating, we ain't just talking about publishing because you got to wait on pub checks. You got to wait on that shit. We talking about nigga got a touchdown in the city and people got to come out and fuck with you and rock with you. You know? Like, don't play with that. Don't play with the integrity of my brand. So I get it. You know, it's amazing because some people will tell you, no, just be quiet. Let it blow over. Let it subside. and Everything will be fine. But then in our culture, you trying to teach us from this side of things, but you got to step into our world. Niggas over here like, bro, nigga ain't saying that. It must be true. <laughs> you tell her the nigga don't say nothing because then if the more you talk, people are going to believe it's real. Why give it life? What you say? Why give it life? Nigga, I ain't giving it life. These motherfuckers talking about it. They giving it life. Every time I go somewhere, I see some shit. I'm just chilling. I'm sitting here with a fine-ass broad and she just like, <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh, no. no wait, wait, what you laughing at? I want to laugh too. What you laughing at? <laughs> Yo ass. Goddamn bitch. What? memes and things like nigga nah like it's just it's just what it is like I get it like some niggas just don't want to be played with it's just too many times I mean you know what I'm saying I give you a perfect example watch this Jamie Foxx we just talked about him a few months ago right he was off the scene we heard he had some type of medical emergency nobody knew what the fuck it was and niggas was like oh that nigga this is that this is that this is that and he never said nothing for so long but that's different it was just something saying that he had a health scare, a medical emergency, right? But let it have been some shit where he was accused of doing something that could really tarnish his image. That nigga would have had a press run so motherfucking hard you'd have thought he was running for president. That nigga would have been on this motherfucking ballot with goddamn Trump and goddamn Biden, nigga. You'd have thought he was running for president. You know what I'm saying? Jock, can I say something? Yeah. The show, the show platform. The show. He, he, he literally, you, you're off on that one because he, at the same time that oh, he showed up on the yacht, else, nigga. He showed up no, on the yacht up. once or hold twice. Up, hold party. up, hold up, hold what? up. At the same time, everybody else was getting hit with these sexual um, allegations. Hmm. Jamie Foxx got one too. He, he got one too. Him, New York Mayor Eric Adams. Yeah, but I ain't hear nothing uh, about Jamie. But, but the but but, uh, but the but point did he is, speak out about it. No, that's that's the point. He let it go. But like I'm not even gonna address that. Cause they that. didn't put enough fire on it. Let no, niggas they, have still been pushing that shit. He would have. He would have had no choice. You talking about a one and done type? Oh, you know, it's speculations that there could possibly be charges filed. Or lost law, litigations coming and lawsuits. It, against it was all over. It was it was across I, CNN. You ain't talking it, about it, hold me. Up, hold me, up. You, it was I, CNN. Me, you done sat down so many times. You ain't never bring that shit up with me, did you? Did you? No. Did, and, the, and the reason I didn't. Hold why? Up, the reason I didn't. I'm listening. See, and this is just me. Okay. I, I I don't walk in your shoes. Right. I walk down the street. Don't nobody know who I am. Mm-hmm. Y'all are in the public eye, but I believe that there are certain celebrities certain celebrities that people I'm not going to say people don't want uh, to see them win, but they can't wait to see them lose. People, Jamie Foxx is, he's a love guy. He make people happy. He make people smile. Something like that come out about him. People are more willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Right. But there's other celebrities the minute that something come out, it, nigga, you on your own. Because you got like, you got like, you got people who already envy. That's a such thing as correct. envy and jealousy. Correct. You you do what you doing so special outside of me, nigga. I look just as good as you, nigga. Nigga, I say some way more player shit than you say, nigga. I should be in your position. You got that men and women. But I'm correct. talking about what I'm saying is, see, you you kind of you just on pad that that shit wasn't no big thing about Jamie Foxx. Why as far it? as the, the sexual allegations, the sexual He got a side. lawsuit, just like uh, everybody else. He got, he got a, lawsuit, a lawsuit, but but is that shit on the forefront? Are we talking about it? It's kind of it kind of came, went, swept under the rug, is what I'm saying. And it may have come out of because time. Because he didn't where, address it. He didn't address it, Jack. 
No. Nah, he let it go. No, nah, that ain't just it. It came and it went. Had that shit prolonged, had that shit prolonged, he would have had to say something after a while. What I'm saying, that shit came and went. Sometimes some shit could come. It's like dodging a bullet, my nigga. Nigga, shoot your shit up. Oh, shit. Shit, everybody all right? Everybody cool? All right, cool. Shit, my leg in the body here. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing. But if one of them bullets hit you, nigga, you got to address that shit, boy. You got to go get me some bandages, nigga. Get me something, nigga. I'm a, I don't want to die. I don't want to bleed out, nigga. Even if I don't go to the hospital, some, get me some help. Get Let's address this wound. That shit, like, woo. He ain't get hit for real. He ain't going through no Bill Cosby shit, nigga. Like, look, I'm what I'm talking about. Bill Cosby was loved, too, and adorned by many, nigga. I'm talking about this, what you talking about? That shit was just... Like, even you talking about it, I'm, I'm down there wanting to grab my phone and Google it. Like, what, when, what, what did they say? I, I don't really know. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he's exempt for any of this shit. I'm just saying the difference is sometimes when we back to the whole situation, topic, talking about me, sometimes certain shit, when it hit a certain way, that's like niggas taking direct shots at me. Niggas is making jokes and memes about a nigga. And this is amongst your peers. Like you, you nigga, you, you, you on a tour, nigga, in a concert, you walking down the hallway, you hear niggas talking about, yeah, that nigga Meek, I heard that nigga Meek got down, got that thing tooted up. What, nigga? You don't even want to be played with, nigga. So stop. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna say something. But these allegations that you talking about, like with Jamie, that shit was. Nigga, we ain't, I ain't even know nothing about it. You ain't, me and you ain't even talk about it. We talk about it. No, everything. we didn't. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Now, had we came on here and I was talking about it, you got Boosie talking about it, nigga, goddamn, they talking about it, them talking about it, Candace always saying some shit about it, Donald Trump, well, you know, Jamie Foxx, well, he's a funny guy, but hey, like, nigga, nigga gonna have to say something. But if it ain't really like directly, like, pop, 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 like a, a wound. Niggas, you could kind of, you got enough money to sh just shut up. Let that shit clear, clear, clear up, black, you know, blow over. So, you know, I don't want to get too riled up because, you know, I get a little adamant about certain shit because I, I know what it feel like. No, I'm just saying, I know what it feel like when niggas saying crazy shit about you and you like, what, nigga? You looking around, nigga like, what? <laughs> What? You gotta, sometimes you gotta just let it go, but meet one of them cats. Meet like he high strong already, like nigga, what? He, he ready to go. Nigga, Philly nigga, nigga, what, nigga? Nigga get, nigga get high pitch and everything. Nigga, be ready to go. Like, <laughs> nigga, who you talking about, nigga? Come to my, come, come to my block, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't with that shit. So, yeah.